Once you wake up to who you are, can't nobody really tell you anything. Because they, they all you're gonna hear from that point on is lies. We are here to give you the truth according to the Bible. How did, um, say, the so-called Caucasian originate? How did that come about, Genesis? All right, how did that come about? Do you, do you, do you know? All right, we're going to read it for you. Listen to this. Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. Isaac went to the Lord for his wife because she was barren. She couldn't have kids. Read. And the Lord was entreated of him. Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. So she's pregnant now. Children are fighting, struggling within her, within her womb, right? And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she Lord, if you're giving me these, ki these children, why am I having such a hard time? Why, what's going on down there? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. It says, what? Two nations are in thy womb. Read. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Remember, it says two manner of people, two. So that means two different types of people, right? Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. The one shall be stronger than the other. Who you think that's talking about? That's talking about you, but we're going to get to it. Hold on, hold on. And the, uh, and the elder shall serve the younger. The elder brother that comes out first is going to serve the younger one, right? Read. When her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. What call, what people are on this nation now that we know that turns red when they get hot? Who? Who? The Caucasians, right? So it's telling you, that's two men of people, right? Read. And they called his name Esau. And they call him his name Esau, wasted away is he. That means the melanin don't show forth in his skin, like your skin. You can see the color. You couldn't see his color because it, it showed, it, the melanin show, doesn't show forth in his skin like yours do. So that means he's a different color, read. And after that came his brother out and his hand took, on, took hold on Esau's hill. So what color was he? It doesn't mention his color because he looked like everybody else, right? right? That's where you get the color from. Before that, everybody on the face of the earth was black, right? So that's telling you where you came from. You come through, if you look at the sign, what tribe, you say you come from, you're an Afro-American black, right? That's the same tribe that Christ came from, right? It, said, it tells us that in Hebrews 7, 14. We're going to read it for you right quick, but I'm going to go back to what we were talking about. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. It for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It's proof that our Lord sprang out of this tribe that I told you. So you come from the same tribe. Your, his blood is running through your veins. Read. Of which Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Now go back to Genesis 25 and 25 of the verse that you were at. So what we're showing you, brother. Brother, I'm just calling you Brother D. What, what we're showing you is who you are according to the Bible. We don't know who we are. Why? Because we haven't been taught that. We're in slavery. Could we read? Could we write? Well, we get punished, right? So now, the prophets are back on the street telling our people who they are because the church is not going to tell you. The pastor ain't told you this. He ain't tell you that you, you was the greatest thing walking on the face of the earth, right. that you're a God on this earth. He don't, he, you wasn't told that because we, ha we haven't been taught that. All he going to give you a song, a dance, and you're going to run around the church for an hour, and he's going to take your money. 
Am I right? Right? Am I, am I lying, sister? So why is that? Why is that? Because get uh, Malachi 2 and 7. That's because, and then Micah 3 and 11. So that's showing you, sis, that, and bro, that we haven't been taught right. Why is that? Why is it that we don't know that who we are? Everybody knows who they are. Everybody has their own God but us. We don't know who our God is. Why is that? Because they want us to fight, they want us to fight against each other. Because we're fighting against each other? No, because we were taught that in slavery. That's why we're doing it. Right. That's why we, we're doing it. But the yeah. preachers nowadays don't even teach us that. No, they don't. Read. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. But a priest's lips should keep knowledge. So what should be coming out of the priest's lips is the word of God. But they give you a scripture and then close the Bible. Don't even explain the scripture to you. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the law at his mouth, right? What 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 is what's the law? You know what? I'm gonna ask you a simple question. What's today? What what day is that? Yeah. What is it? What day is it? Saturday is supposed to be what? What what's the day says? What's supposed to be Saturday? Day. The, day, the day of rest. What's that called in the Bible? It's called the Sabbath. From sundown on Friday to sundown on Saturday. That's called the Sabbath. But look, look, look at all these cars over here parked at the, the gas station, right? That's what the priest isn't teaching you. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Today is the day of rest, not tomorrow. Tomorrow is the first day of the week. Right. So how, how you get how you get a five day week in the in the calendar that has seven days on? That's the first day of week. Huh? Sunday is, the first day. Sunday is the first day of the week. That's when work starts. But we go to work on Monday. That's the second day of the week. So what we're showing you is that you're being taught wrong. So both of you said the day was Saturday, right? God made this day holy for you, right? For his people. Like you read in Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6. We are holy people unto God, right? right? Showing you who you are makes a big difference. Once you wake up to who you are, can't nobody really tell you anything. Because they, they're, all you're going to hear from that point on is lies. We are here to give you the truth according to the Bible, uh, Luke uh, 14 and 23. We come out here in these streets to show our people because the church is not going to show you. Everybody within the earshot of my voice can hear exactly what I'm saying. Right. And the majority of them still turn, do this, turn their back to it. I'm still going to church on Sunday. No, that's not what the Bible say. Read that. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. So we are coming out in the highways and byways to compel our people to come in, telling them, look, you got to know who you are. That's saying, you know, look, you don't know who you are. Come, let us teach you who you are according to the Bible. Right? Because right? I'm going to go back to the Sabbath. You didn't know the day was the Sabbath. You just said it was Saturday. If you say it in, what, in, in the Spanish, it's called Sabbath. If you say it in Spanish, it's telling you what the Sabbath is. Right. Get the Sabbath in um, Exodus. So I'm going to show you how we know that we're supposed to keep this day and how the Most High hollowed it for you, right? And if after the day, you got to go get the Bible and say, don't believe what I say. Believe what the Word say. Go look it up for yourself. You got to fly you, right? So read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. You know. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So it says, remember the Sabbath day today to keep it holy. Ho ho holy means hollow. It's a set apart day. Read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Six days shall you labor. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. On the seventh day, what? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. But the seventh day, you said tomorrow is the uh, uh, the first day of the week. So if you know that, you know there's something that you're not doing right, right? Right? So what are we, what are we telling you? To repent, right? Read on. And it thou shalt do. I'm sorry. 
and it thou shalt not do any work. So it said, and that, on that day you ain't supposed to work. Read on. Thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant nor thy cattle nor thy stranger. That no, no one is to be doing anything. Read on. Nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So the only thing you're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath is keeping these laws, that's the commandment, resting and getting ready for Sunday. Right. That's it. But we'll talk. Okay, we're going to work Monday to Friday. We're going to get two days off for the weekend. And then we're going to start at work on Monday. That makes no sense. That don't even line up. That don't even line up in the, the simplest mind. You see what I'm saying? So what 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 are we what are we saying to you, bro? What are we, what are, you learn in the last 15 minutes? You learn more about yourself than your pastor ever told you in 20 or 30 years that you went to church, right? Get uh, uh, numbers, friends. Uh, no, numbers. The simplest thing he hadn't told you. Something very simple to do that'll keep your mind stayed on Christ in the command. Read that. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Read up. Speak unto the children of Israel and beg them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and in that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So what's that talking about? Look at the, the garments the brother have on. The officers and the brothers have on. Look at the bottom of it. You see that? See these, what they call, some people call strings. They're called fringes in the Bible. If you keep that, that's one of the least commandments that, we're, 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 that we don't keep. The churches don't, they don't know. They don't read that part of the Bible. Oh, the, oh, the, 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 the law is done away with. If the law is done away with, can you go steal? Can you kill somebody? Can I come and take your car because I like it? So how's the law done away with? Huh? I'm going to get to you. You got to have it. Right. So, so how's the law done away with if, if those laws still exist? Guess where they got that from? Out the Bible. Think about it. It says judicial. Ju is the first part of that. Judicial sense. They're telling you they got them laws out of the Bible. Right? So go back to the Sabbath. I just wanted to show that right quick. That's the least commandment you can, can do, sis. And I'm going to show you something else in a second, as soon as I finish up with the Sabbath. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 10. Read up. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It's the seventh day, Saturday. Right? Friday night sundown to Saturday sundown. It's the seventh day of the week. Read. In it thou shalt not do any work. It's, ten, it's telling me, in that day, don't do nothing but keep the laws. That's the commandment. Sell them. Enjoy the Sabbath. That's what he's saying. Read. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So it's telling you who all, it's telling the Israelites, don't do anything on that day. Go congregate. Right? Why? We don't, con how, how, how you going to congregate on a day that's supposed to be the first day of the week? You're supposed to be with your brothers often, right? Right? Get that in Malachi 3.16. Read out. Right? So what we're showing you says is how to keep the Sabbath. Right. What laws are simple laws to keep. I'm going to show you one in a minute that you didn't, probably didn't even know about. That's your cousin? Right. He probably told you about it. You probably didn't listen to him. All right, read. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. It says they that feared the Lord spake often to one another. I talk to these brothers all the time at least. Not just on the Sabbath. I see him during the week. Right, but go ahead, read. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. So that's showing you that you have to congregate. Right? You have to gather together. So let me show go to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. I'm going to show you something that you probably didn't know. That it's, so, it's, simple, it's a simple thing to do, but we... In this society, we've been taught to do the opposite, right? If, you, if I tell you, in this society, they tell you, if we telling you to go right, they tell you to go left, right? Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's the woman's garment? 
No, a, a, a garment. What's a, a woman's garment? Is it a skirt or a dress? What is it? It's a, a dress or a skirt, right? And it said a man shouldn't put on a woman's garment. What you see on the news nowadays, in, 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 in society nowadays, what do you see? You see men wearing what? Men wearing dresses, right? And skirts. Got on heels and everything. Makeup, looking like the woman. The Bible says, read that again. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A man should not be wearing a dress. And what's 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 a man's garment? Pants, right? What you got on? You got on pants, right? Right. So what you got to do? You got to you got to change, right? Right. Right. And that that's the first part of repentance. It's change. That's what that means. So if you're wearing garments, you got skirts, and the skirts hanging up in the closet all week, and you never put it on till Sunday, you're not following that commandment. Right. So which was telling you what God is telling you, He bringing back to your remembrance. He, you, it ain't by accident that you out here today. You out here so the Most I can show you those things and see, and then what that means, you're getting yourself in order. We used to scream Black Power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.